Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, coming to you on one of the most beautiful days I can imagine from the endless mountains of north central Pennsylvania. Today I've got a really cool surprise for you. We're going to take a look at a new knife from a new company. The company's name is Fremont Knives. They've come up with a really unique survival tool called the Farson Blade. We'll take a look at this tool in relation to some other knives and blades. We'll put it through its paces. We'll see what it can do and can't do. And before we're all done, we'll take a look at who this blade is for. Who should look for a different tool? Come on, let's get started. Now the Farson Survival Tool is designed and manufactured by a new brand called Fremont Knives, a US company based in the great state of Wyoming. The concept for this blade came from a handmade stone tool they found in the Great Red Desert near Farson, Wyoming. Inspired by the find, Fremont Knives teamed up with custom knife maker Mike Draper to improve on the original tool and bring it to a new generation. So the Farson Blade Survival Tool is a small, lightweight and low profile tool comes with a handle wrap of around 8 feet of black 550 paracord and a protective nylon sheath. Now one of the many cool things about this tool is its total weight, including the blade, paracord and sheath. It's only 6.7 ounces or 190 grams which is about half the weight of most medium sized survival knives without their sheaths. Now the tool itself is made out of bead blasted stainless steel and it held up well in all our tests which included a lot of chopping, slicing, splitting, skinning and batoning. The tool is about 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters in length from front to back and its width tapers from about 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters towards the front to about 2 inches or 5 centimeters to the back. Now one of the most interesting nuances of this tool is that it has 8 inches or 20 centimeters of sharp usable blade edge. This doesn't mean much until you realize that this is more edge than is found on some of my larger blades like the SOG Steel Team Elite and my Smith & Wesson Homeland Security Knife. Ok now my Farson blade held a keen edge through all my tests which brings me to an important point. This blade is very sharp out of the box and the majority of this tool is blade so be careful how you handle it. Now the top handle portion has a gentle ergonomic curve that fit my palm well and the tightly woven paracord makes for a surprisingly comfortable grip. There's also a generous amount of handle spine jimping toward the front and rear of this tool to increase grip and control. And two holes in the handle are strategically placed to stabilize and secure the paracord wrap and are very useful when lashing the tool to a stick to make an improvised hatchet. A generous amount of paracord from the handle ports out the back side of the tool and is tied off to form a lanyard that I use often to help keep the tool in my hand especially when attempting some light chopping. Now let's take a look at what this tool can do. From the first time my wife saw the Farson blade she asked do I get one of these for the kitchen? So yep, one of my first tests was chopping an apple. And true to its form, this tool made short work of my subject. Next I decided to see how it would do cutting. Now this tool doesn't have a tip like a standard knife, but I found that the butt end was set up with just enough point to slice through various things like cloth, plastic and cardboard. Cutting and chopping pretty heavy rope was a breeze as well as skinning and sharpening sticks. Now I was curious whether I'd be able to perform some finer tasks like feathering sticks and sure enough the Farson tool did just fine. Next it was time to baton through some smaller logs and 2x4s. So I removed the paracord and gave it a go. Now as you can see it is possible to baton through some smaller logs but without a handle apart from the blade, the tool shifts around quite a bit needs to be whacked from both sides to keep it moving through the wood. But splitting scrap 2x4 chunks was a different story. Often this blade traveled through these puppies with just one whack. Now if you're a hunter you're probably wondering how this tool does on big game, especially skinning. So the boys at Fremont Knives sent me this footage of them using the Farson tool to skin an antelope following a recent hunt. Now last but not least I had to lash the tool to a stick to see how it would do as an improvised hatchet. So I went serious primitive here and simply wrapped the tools 8 foot of paracord around the tool handle and stick as tightly as I could, occasionally weaving and pulling it tightly through some of my wraps. Then I simply tied it off and tightened it a bit every once in a while as I used it. Even with my hasty paracord lashing, this little improvised hatchet did an awesome job at chopping and sharpening sticks. Now let's talk about the sheath. Now my Farson tool came with a black nylon sheath with an inner liner. The tool is held inside through the use of a flap and a velcro closure system. On the back there's a nylon loop to accommodate up to 2 inch wide belts. 
And this whole package is small enough to easily slip into a pocket or a pack. It takes up very little room. Now let's take a look at owner comments. Since Fremont Knives is a newer brand and the Farson tool has only been out for a few months at the time of this review, there aren't many owner reviews. Few that I found do talk about the tool's design, durability, and how versatile it is. So we rate the Fremont Knives Farson Blade tool as a solid 4.5 out of 5 stars for its innovation, versatility, craftsmanship, design, and quality build. It's a simple but well thought out tool that has a myriad of uses and would make a perfect addition to any survival, camping, emergency, or hunting kit. We took off half a star because the nylon sheath is a bit flimsy and the inner liner gets in the way at times when storing the blade. Beefing up the sheath in future versions or offering an upgraded sheath option would surely encourage us to up our rating to a full 5 out of 5 stars. So who's the Farson survival blade for? Well, this is a unique, innovative, and versatile tool for survival kits, bug out bags, emergency kits, camping, hunting, backpacking, fishing, and everyday carry. And it's as much at home in the kitchen as it is in the backcountry. And because of its very affordable online street price, make a great gift for just about anyone on your gift list. For a few other unique and affordable blades, check out the Mora Light My Fire, the Bear Girls Paracord Knife, the Opie Nell Number 8 Folder, and the Ian Sinclair Card Sharp 2. We've just taken a look at the Fremont Knives Farson Blade Survival Tool. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.